our travel expert, Lauren Christie, knows everything there is to see and do across the UK. But if historic tours aren't your thing and you're looking for a little adventure, well, Lauren's got that covered as well. He recently took a leap of faith off the coast of Wales. It's a sport called coastering. And here's how it works. <laughs> I'm here with Rob Sims, and we're about to start our coasteering adventure down there. So what exactly is co-steering? Co-steering is a, it's an incredible activity that will just going to get you immersed into the stunning coastline just here, literally like face first immersed. Did he just say face first? <laughs> And it's a blend of loads of activities of sort of skills from climbing and surfing and kayaking and all that knowledge, you bring it together and also learning about the amazing marine life and sort of biodiversity of the coastline. It's a, it's a fantastic day out. And what was the safety briefing? I kind of missed that part. Yeah, it just keep nice and straight arms and legs together. Oh, puke. Okay, one, two, oh, okay. <laughs> just get nice and comfortable with that. My guide, Rob, made it look easy. <laughs> I can't believe you just dove head first. And thanks to his tips, I soon got the hang of it. And up. Okay. That was good. Yeah, it was a good little lift. Part, I think, is getting to see the coastline from a completely different angle. You can walk the coast all day long here and walk past all these beautiful, stunning caves and natural features which you just wouldn't see unless you're right down the bottom. So, yeah, seeing it from the, from the bottom looking up is just the best thing, definitely. Would this be a good time to mention I'm scared of heights? Thumbs up. Oh, you crazy, crazy man. Lauren is back on dry land and joins us now in studio. And it's co-steering, co right? Co-steering, yes. Yeah. yeah, and they pioneered it there about 25 years ago. And I have to say, these guys, the TYIF Adventure folks, unbelievable like it was a little nerve-wracking at first but boy they you know they know what they're doing by the end of it I quite enjoyed it uh, it felt higher than it looked in some of those I have to tell you and I, I wasn't fully aware that that head camera I was wearing actually had audio but anyway that's fine <laughs> yeah we have to bleep you out <laughs> yeah. a, few, a few times there so what do people need to know is there a huge safety briefing before you undertake something like this safety briefing which I didn't listen to as much as I should have but yeah there's a safety briefing you have to be in reasonably good physical condition it's not you know anyone can quote-unquote do it but you do need to be in somewhat good condition because it's tiring you're swimming against the waves but right. you know they offer other things there too you can kayak or you can surf or do other things so if that's not what you want to do um, you don't have to but it's a great way uh, as he said in the piece to to see the coast from the from the water's point of view it's just beautiful and there's all sorts of different packages it costs about $75 and up and uh, if you're in the southwest coast of Wales I highly recommend it all right so what if people want some adventure but they want to stay a little drier uh, I get that. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I think UK in general is great for hiking, walking, whatever you want to call it. The amount of trails are there, whether you're talking Scotland with its great trail system of 1,500 kilometers. Um, the Lake District has some pretty amazing trails. Uh, and here you'll see this is the Wales Coast Path. They just opened it about a month ago. It's 1,400 kilometers. It's a path that spans the entire coast of Wales. It hooks up with the Offa Dyke, Offa Dyke Path, so you could actually walk the entire circumference of Wales if you wanted to. And it's set up for walkers. It's, it's just gorgeous fantastic. Country. Gorgeous. So good to have you here. He survived it all. Good I'm for kidding. you. And to read Lauren's blog about his co-steering adventure and for more details on how to win that UK trip for two, head to CanadaAM.ctv.ca. There's still